Now the industry is very excited about chiplet, and many companies are making investments in it. What's your visionary of this new technology? Some companies can do chiplets, some companies can't. I don't see Apple doing chiplets. You know, when I first heard about them, I said chiplets are cheating. You know, because you're taking different designs from different companies, maybe or different processes, and stitching them all together.、Uh, I've spent quite a bit of time on it, and I have a staff of people that I work with on SemiWiki. Uh, we really have a good understanding of how chiplets work. Intel has briefed us on how their tiles work. It's the same thing as chiplets, just they have their own name. And so chiplets will help,、uh, but I believe it'll it'll help companies like Intel and AMD because these big monolithic chips are really hard to design and they're really hard to yield. And so I think that they will be very successful in chiplets. And、uh, I've seen some designs. AMD and Intel are both doing chiplet designs. They'll be out, of course, in a year or two. I think they're going to be quite successful. And I think it is a perfect market for that.、Uh, but I think other companies maybe not, will not use chiplets, like people that are power sensitive, such as Apple. I don't think Apple SOCs will use chiplets because chiplets are going to be bigger. They're not going to be really for mobile devices, and they're going to take a little bit more power. And it's going to be complicated getting all the chiplets timed and working together and tested and packaged and everything. So some markets will be successful with it. Some markets won't. I think TSMC will be quite happy with chiplets because they can, you know, create these things quite easily, and their yield will be much higher because they're very smaller de- designs. You know, when you have a yield issue and you only have, you know, thirty、uh, die on the chip, that's significant. But if you have three hundred die on the chip, it's less significant. So I think chiplets are very good. I think they will、uh, change the industry, not the whole industry, but I think it, it is definitely worth investing in. Could you elaborate on what types of markets would be more successful with chiplets? I, I think the big monolithic chips are good for、um, chiplets because if you look at the CPUs and the GPUs from Intel and AMD, they're really big dies and they're getting bigger. If you look at the dies for Apple, the die for the Apple SoC really hasn't changed in size. It's a similar size. The power requirements are going down and the density keeps going up. So I don't think SOC companies like Apple will use chiplets, but I think the big monolithic chip companies will use them. For example, the hyperscalers. I think they will be very open to chiplets. I think big CPU guys will be very open to chiplets, but the mobile device、uh, companies, I think they'll be less open.、Uh, the other thing chiplets does is it really reduces the cost of your design. So if you are cost sensitive, you will probably want to use chiplets. But again, today chiplets really are for internal designs that you're doing your own chiplets.、Um, the commercial chiplet market is not there yet. So for companies that do their own、uh, IP and do all their own design, I think breaking those out into chiplets makes sense. But for another company、uh, that is buying IP and you know assembling a chip, chiplets are going to be a little more difficult to get. Currently, most of the packaging and testing of chips are done in Southeast Asia. Do you think they'll also take over that of chiplets? Emerging technology companies and emerging countries that are just really getting into semiconductors, or maybe are a little bit behind in semiconductors, I think they're going to have a little bit more of a problem with chiplets because they don't have the experience. But again, I just don't think chiplets are going to change the industry. I think there are select companies that are going to be able to use it. I think maybe years down the road there will be commercial chiplets that people can buy and have confidence that it's going to work. But they still have to stitch them together, and that's a big problem. I think foundries like TSMC probably will. Will be able to do that for them. So TSMC has been in packaging for a few years now, and they they spend a lot of money on packaging, and they have different packaging、um, solutions for different types of company. They do packaging for Apple, of course, and Xilinx, and a few other companies.、Uh, TSMC doing packaging is a big deal because a foundry really is going to be able to put those dies together in a much better fashion than some of the smaller companies. TSMC's, I think, ten percent of their capex is for packaging, so it is significant. But I think it's really going to take the backing of a foundry like TSMC to really get chiplets going for the masses.